What's going on guys? This is Matt coming to you from my living room in fancy Laurel, Maryland. I'm getting ready to do a overnight backpack on the Appalachian Trail tomorrow. Figured I'd do a quick run through of the gear I'll be humping out there. Well, we'll start with the sleep system. Um, uh, got an emergency bivy sack here by uh, Survive Outdoors Longer. It uh, packs up real small into this bag. I'm not sure if I'll need it or not. Uh, low for tomorrow is supposed to be about 38 or 39. Um, but if I do need it, it's got the heat reflective material. Um, I don't know if anyone watched Better Call Saul, but if you'll remember, Saul's brother uh, used this stuff to keep uh, the bad uh, radiation from coming into his house. Um, this is on the inside of the bag. It keeps the good radiation and your body heat reflected back towards you. And I suppose if you're worried about government mind control, uh, they shouldn't be able to uh, tap into your thoughts in uh, the emergency bivy sack here. Next up is a 30 degree down bag by Sierra Designs. Uh, should be plenty warm on its own, but I might uh, need to jump in the bivy um, if I get paranoid or, and or chilly. Uh, see here, sleeping bag will stuff down into a bag this size. Uh, a little pillow here, it's inflatable, so, uh, it's nice and fluffy on this side, smooth on this side, you just blow it up real quick. And that goes uh, into a small bag that uh, its whereabouts unknown at the moment. Uh, since this is right here, this is a pack I'll be using, a 30 liter Meteor by North Face. Um, plenty big for one night out, probably could stretch three or four days out out of a pack this size, at least uh, for a hiker like me. Underneath of the sleeping bag, I've got the Big Agnes Air Core Insulated. I forget what the R value is, four point something maybe. Uh, that packs up into a bag about the size of a Nalgene bottle. Um, I think the pillow bag, oh, I just saw it for a second. I don't know. Uh, this is a mummy liner bag. Uh, it's real thin, it goes inside the sleeping bag, it doesn't really add much warmth, but it will keep you from getting your nice down bag all grubby and nasty inside since there are no showers out there. Under the air bed I have a piece of DuPont Tyvek. This is a real lightweight ground cloth. Um, they use it on the side of houses to keep moisture out. It will also keep moisture from the ground coming back up through and keeps the bottom side of your air bed um, from getting uh, beat up by the rocks and possibly punctured. If it should get punctured, I've got a little patch kit here. Actually, I think this came with its own patch kit, but um, it seems to have fallen out. So I'm glad I looked and I know it's not in there anymore. Or wait. It's in there somewhere. Some, is it? Oh yeah, on the inside. It's got its own, so I guess I. This doesn't weigh hardly anything. I I, I don't know if I'll bring it or not. Um, moving on to the camp kitchen. Oh, here's that pillow bag. So for water filtration, I'm going to use the platypus platypus two bag system. There's a bag for dirty which you uh, put in the stream and then there's a filter in the middle, hang it from a tree limb or uh, you know whatever you can find and uh, gravity pulls it down through the filter into your clean water bag. I think it does a gallon at a time so when I get to camp it should be good for the night. Got uh, six tent stakes here which I can stake out my ground cloth with. I uh, dropped some uh, grommets in there, I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, you just Tap them right down through. The ground's going to be rocky as hell out there. I don't know how much luck I'll have driving stakes, but um, I'll take them nonetheless. Up next are six more ground, ground stakes. They've got um, some uh, guy line tied to them. 
I'll be using that for my tarp, which has uh, disappeared at the moment. Where the hell did I put that thing? Um, ah, tarp's over here. This is a camo tarp. I think it's 8x5, maybe 9x6, I forget. It's a few bucks at Harbor Freight. It's pretty heavy by uh, backpacking standards, but I'm just going out for the night. Um, so the, the weight penalty is nil for just an overnight. It's not like I'm doing any real distance. Um, moving on, we're back to Camp Kitchen. I've got wet ones. These are good for uh, washing your hands. And uh, you probably want to wash your ass out with them if you have to take a dump out there. I'm hoping that's not the case, but they're there if I need them. Uh, this is my cook pot. It's aluminum. I don't know the capacity, but it's uh, pretty good for my purposes. It's a wind screen that will go around the pot while I'm cooking on it so it doesn't put out my stove, which is a fancy feast can with some holes bored out. You pour heat in there, light it on fire, and then it'll jet up, and uh, that's what you cook on. I'll, uh, I'll have more on that um, as I'm cooking out um, on the trail. One of my favorite pieces of gear, the GI, GSI coffee maker. Got a little coffee filter there. You just put your filter in, your coffee in there, boil some water on the side, pour it through, coffee comes out into your cup, you're good to go. This is a moose jaw flag. The fine people of Bessemer, Michigan sent me this. Um, Back in the day, what people would do would go out in the woods and get naked, and then they'd cover their junk with the moose jaw flag. I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet or not, but uh, if, if I'm in the mood, I'm going to have the flag along for my little moose jaw photo op. Um, I've got from the library the O. Henry Prize stories, um, best of 2016. Um, once I get to camp, it's still going to be light, but I probably won't be ready for bed until around midnight, so I'll be reading this hoss. Uh, I usually carry some cash with me in the woods. Uh, here's a hundred. Uh, can't really buy anything out there, but you never know in a bind. Maybe you need some cash. Uh, maybe pay off a bear if he's not leaving you alone. Stuff like that. Here's a cat hole trowel. Hope to not need it, but if i got to take a dump, I'm going to bury it. Um, this is a can of bear spray, uh, it's got the safety clip on here, I've never had to discharge bear spray, I've never seen a bear, but this also work against weirdos that are fucking with you out there. A uh, knife, uh, it's good for uh, cutting stuff. This, shout out to B. Lee, is a 13,000 milliamp hour power bank. They'll be charging my phone up with that since I'm going to be shooting a lot of video out there. Good looking, Beely. This is a composition book for my deepest thoughts and reflections on life. Here is a pencil. You can write upside down with these as covered in an episode of Seinfeld. We've got a little container for cigarette butts. You don't want to leave those out in the woods. It's just uh, common decency. Got a headlamp here, that's so you can read at night and uh, see what the hell you're doing because it is pitch dark out there. This is a mini tripod. I don't know if I'm going to bring the big hoss that my phone's mounted on right now, but I'm definitely bringing this little guy that will double as a selfie stick. Uh, I've got a spork here. Uh, normally I uh, Messed this in my pot with all my other stuff, but it doesn't quite fit. It pisses me off to no end, but what are you going to do? This is a clamp for a camera. That's going on the selfie stick. This is my trash bag. This is a cheap, lightweight camera that actually has a decent little lens on it if the light's good. I'm taking that. I'll shoot some video with this as well. Um, here's uh, just a secondary light. It's got a little hook. LED light, cheapo from Harbor Freight, so I've got a little redundancy this one and that one, um, just in case. Uh, there's no rain in the forecast, but I've got a poncho, um, better to have it and not need it, that kind of thing. And if you're freezing your ass off, it is rubber, you can put it on and it'll add a little warmth, but 
like I said, uh, forecasted lows in the 40s, got a 30 degree bag, the space blanket, should be good to go, and uh, I think that's it, we'll see you guys out on the trail.